it's really exciting uh, because I guess I, I know how much they can do now. And um, it's, it's fun to see every day how much we grow and, and how much they do and how great they sound. I always think that the younger that you start singing, um, the more successful you're going to be, whether you have the ta natural talent or not. Some people are, of course, just born better singers than others, but um, there are many things you can do to improve tone, to improve pitch. Sometimes it's just teaching kids how to hear the different pitches um, and, and teaching them to realize when they're on the right note and, and what that sounds like or feels like. It takes a lot of work. I mean, you have a good basic voice and then there's all kinds of ways to manipulate your voice. And so, and, and it's difficult because it's what you do is inside your head. So you have to find a way, as a teacher, you have to find a way to communicate what to do to a student so that they understand what you're trying to say. And it is a lot of work. A lot of times you'll think, okay, yeah, this is right. And then I'll hear them by themselves and I'll think, oh wait, we've got to adjust this. So it's very difficult. It's a never ending um, job work, you know, to do that, yeah. Well, they learn to be expressive. Um, they learn to be outside their box. Um, they also get to learn um, and know a lot of different people that they don't normally maybe interact with other times a day and so they really get to um, just have like a whole new family. Um, by the time I've had them sometimes for three years, um, <clears throat> they really, really know me well and they know each other well and um, it's, it's, I uh, equate it to a family. I talk about the high school choir all the time with my eighth graders especially. Um, it, it keeps them motivated and when they hear the high school groups they think they're so amazing because Sandy does a wonderful job and Clarence as well and they really look forward to being a part of that in high school. Every year I've had the comment that they want to get to know each other better because the choir is made up of kids from all different uh, walks of life up here and they want to know each other better and, and I think that that helps in supporting each other making everybody feel safe. When I first started teaching my first year here, there were 36, I believe, in my eighth grade choir. And to give you a comparison, today I have 86, so <laughs> it is more than doubled. They work hard, but it's also a little bit of a break in their day. It's a little more fun than your typical class. Um, and when they get up on stage and, and perform on their concert night and they do such a wonderful job, um, they just love it. They, they think it's fun and they're proud of themselves. I think it's very powerful when you all have the same message and you're all feeling the same thing and you're telling somebody something, you're telling your audience something, but it's not just you saying it, it's everybody together expressing that.